so uh, me and Zcar. But yeah, we did it. We didn't really come prepared or like ready at all for this, but we're just going off like the top of our head. Okay, so um, we did our silver identity politics. So what what is identity politics anyway? Why is it relevant? Does anyone know what uh, identity politics is? No. Okay, so uh, Merriam-Webster defines it as uh, political activity or movement is based on or catering to the cultural, ethnic, uh, gender, racial, religious, or social interests that characterize a group identity. So um, both sides of the spectrum like politically use identity politics, but it's most uh, alive and rampant in the left. Uh, so like the problem mainly is like our nation suffers from uh, detrimental doctrines of like left wing ideologues. Like that's like the main problem. And uh, our message is that identity politics essentially provides like no uh, like zero benefits to society. In fact, like it genuinely like harms people. Uh, the notion that the system of politics pushes is based off of a hierarchy that runs on power versus uh, confidence, which is optimal. Uh, and when a society runs on power, it breaks down the meritocracy. And uh, this in turn breaks down the efficiency of the nation as a whole. And when you begin to admit people into professions in which they are not qualified or like interested in, uh, solely based on like the complexion of their skin tone or society or like socioeconomic uh, backgrounds, uh, the society starts to break down, and this is like the main problem of identity <laughs> politics. And uh, the the factors of like confidence and intellectual capabilities completely disregarded in their premise. Like it's just based off of social factors. So uh, when confidence should truly be like the only factor considered in the political and professional. And um, unfortunately, according to the Journal of Blacks of Higher Education, uh, African Americans have a graduation rate of 42%. Wait, really? Yeah. Um, That's it? Yeah. Uh, wow, look at that statistic. Not like for real. <laughs> okay, so. And this can be like due to the amount of affirmative action and the amount of programs installed that like cater to minorities at large. Um, and this this can affect us mainly because me and Dalton will soon be embarking on our like collegiate journeys. And uh, identity politics is live and rampant throughout academia currently, and this is where it's affected the most. On campus, like the threats of identity politics will immediately affect us. It is of utmost importance utmost importance to spread awareness of its impacts on students and uh, the universities have actually been indoctrinating young impressionable college students in order to push their biased agenda that's the main issue okay so like the main focus of eradicating identity politics um, it would be great to start with promoting individuality and what we plan to do is spread awareness in order to influence our audience to speak out against um, senators and representatives uh, pushing a biased agenda. Uh, politicians are proposing and passing bills at a rate faster than ever. For example, um, fairly recently, I'm sure you all know of Governor Frisker's recent bill on increasing the legal age to purchase tobacco and nicotine products to 21 years. He proposed that bill on April 8th, and just Three days later, Iowa proposed the same bill. This was largely motivated by high schools throughout um, Illinois and Iowa due to the problems with students um, hitting jewels. And, well, this is unfortunate because, like, now we can't use the jeweling lounge as their intended purpose. No, and this is, like, indirectly affecting our, ed our education. And just like identity politics, affect, um, affecting our education in the future by imposing its own uh, biased curriculum. Yeah, so the main, the main reason why that's relevant to uh, address is because uh, politically, 
it's it's becoming like it's been facilitated in like passing bills like recently. Like, it's just where it's the easiest to pass bills. So like this can be preventable. Like identity politics on like a legislative level can be preventable. Um, that's why we address that reason how fast they pass that bill. But uh, so mainly this is our end game. No, it's like Avengers end game. That was it. And then. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so, in our end game, we want to motivate people to judge others' um, opinions purely based upon competence rather than their skin color, gender, sex, you name it. Um, okay, so a simple yet effective way to avoid being like succumbed by the deep, uh, treacherous depths of identity politics is to always ask yourself how you could have altered a situation before you blame others. Um, this will ultimately prevent any like victimhood complexes in your life, uh, and identity politics essentially runs off of uh, victimhood and like oppression. I like, guess its main notion. It's like oppress oppressors versus oppressed, and uh, it's what fuels like their engines of appalling ideological doctrines. And as Doctor Strange would say. It's a simple spell, but quite unbreakable. Yeah. <laughs> Are we good? <laughs>